Good evening, everybody. Uh, we're uh, going to get underway here shortly. I had a quick announcement. We have a young lady, uh, very young. She is, her name is Ellie, and she is blonde hair, and she is by the south gate uh, with one of our police officers and with Mrs. Morgan from Ray Middle School. So if you're looking for little Ellie, uh, you can please head over towards the, the direction of the south gate, and someone will flag you down so you can be reunited. And we'll be uh, getting our event. I know everybody's very excited. Started very shortly.
we think about this weather, everybody, huh? Good evening, friends, family, and students. I would like to take this time to welcome the Board of Education, Superintendent Jason Thompson, Deputy Superintendent Joseph DeBarbery, administrators, faculty members, honored guests, family, friends, and graduates to this, the 153rd commencement exercise in honor of the Charles W. Baker High School's class of 2022. <laughs> At this time, I ask you to remain standing or please rise to join senior class president, Cesar Perez Marino, as he leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And I ask you to remain standing at this time while Baker High School senior Evan Burmeister sings our national anthem. Come on up, Evan. dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we walked were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Evan and Caesar. You, you may all be seated. So class of 2022, we're here. You did it. You did it. And it was a long road that led us to this moment, this perfect moment this evening to celebrate you, the class of 2022, right here at Pelcher Arcaro Stadium. I'm honored to be with you all here today celebrating this beautiful group of students, the toughest, most resilient, determined, tenacious, and caring group of C.W. Baker High students yet. And my question to you all at this moment, is you ready to do this? I can't hear you. Are you ready to do this? All right. Well, let's get to it then. Each year. The administration, faculty, and support staff at Baker High School recognize the top 13 students from the graduating class. Students who make up this group commonly known as the Baker's Dozen are selected based on their weighted grade point average. With that said, I would like to ask this year's Baker's Dozen to stand and be recognized when I call your name. I ask that you please hold your applause until the final student's name has been read. McKenna Davis. Kira Glickert, Dean Welch, Catlin, excuse me, Caitlin Sacco, Emily Foreman, Elizabeth Shepard, Maeve Bartel, Andre Unku, Cesar Perez Marino, 
Grace Branshaw, Bryson Murdoch, Liam Byrne, and Emma Hollenbeck. Congratulations. You may be seated. Each year, the senior class chooses to recognize dedicated educators who have been influential in their lives as students here in Baldwinsville. This year, the class of 2022 has chosen to recognize their own faculty, Baker's Dozen. Students would like to honor the following staff members. Those with us today, I ask that they stand and be recognized. And they include Baker High School Assistant Principal, Mr. Bill Allen. <laughs> Baker High School Counselor, Mr. Jeremy Hollenbeck. <laughs> Baker High School Teaching Assistant, Mrs. Donna Holrich. <laughs> Baker High School Promise Zone Support Staff, Mr. Frank Smith. Baker High School English teacher, Mrs. Beverly DeCoco Six. <laughs> Durgy Junior High School music teacher, Mrs. Megan Brody. <laughs> Ray Middle School social studies teacher, Mr. John Pallotta. <laughs> Eldon Elementary teacher, Mr. Tim James. McNamara Elementary teacher, Mrs. Deborah Hitchcock. <laughs> Palmer Elementary teacher, Mrs. Suzanne Kick. <laughs> Reynolds Elementary teacher, Mrs. Catherine Reap. <laughs> Van Buren Elementary teacher, Mrs. Rhonda Batriel and Baldwinsville District Support Staff Member, Mrs. Janine Pfeiffer. <laughs> Thank you to all of our distinguished guests, as well as all of the school district's instructional and support staff for making a difference in our students' lives and for going above and beyond each and every year. I would also like to thank our information specialist, Mrs. Sarah Buckshot, and yearbook club advisor, Mrs. Katie Herman, for the pictures used today for the slideshow scene on our scoreboard. We are also streaming live to locations around the globe, thanks to auditorium coordinator, Ms. Paula Pickering. <laughs> thanks also to Director of Technology, RJ Delisle, for providing media support for this evening's event up in the press box. Additionally, I would like to recognize all of our teachers and staff and administrators that are working here today to support the class of 2022, and to all staff for their tireless efforts and unwavering commitment to the students of Baldwinsville and C.W. Baker High School. Please give them a round of applause. At this time, we will recognize our valedictorian and salutatorian and present them both with their citations. Will our salutatorian, Kira Glickert, please stand and come to the podium to accept your citation from Assemblyman William Magnarelli. And now will our valedictorian, McKenna Davis, please stand, come to the podium, and accept your citation from Assemblyman William Magnarelli. So Congratulations. Congratulations to you both. At this time, I would like to pay special recognition to members of this class that have chosen to pursue a career in the military. I would ask that they please stand and be recognized when their name is called and remain standing. Joining the United States Army, Eli Lewis. <laughs> Tay Simon. Nathaniel Woods. Joining the United States Army National Guard, Justin Barkley. Elijah Haynes. Dakota Hennessy. Hunter Hennessy. Marshall Jones. 
and Daniel Natalin. Joining the United States Navy, Aiden Kalin. Remember, please remain standing. Joining the University at SUNY Albany, United States Air Force ROTC program, Ethan Viviano. And joining the United States Marine Corps, Ethan Gary. As they remain standing, I'd like to also have stand at this time if you are planning to join the police department, the fire department, or emergency medical services. Please stand. At this time, will all members in this stadium today who are actively serving in the military or who, who, ha or who have served in our country's armed forces, please stand. <laughs> will all members that are actively serving or, or who have served as first responders, please stand. We want to thank all of you for your past, present, and future service, and thank you all for your dedication to our nation and community. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to invite class president Cesar Perez Marino to the podium to address the class of 2022. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and most importantly, the Baldwinsville class of 2022. Congrats, everyone. We did it. And I'm gracious that you've had me as your president up until this point. You know, when I started writing this speech in the large gym bathroom a couple seconds before this, I'm just kidding. Uh, but seriously, when I started writing this speech, I knew only two things. It had to be about three to five minutes, and I had absolutely no idea what I was gonna talk about. For that reason, I decided to look upon my old yearbooks for inspiration. I found maybe six of the last 13 years of school, and eventually I gathered what to say. Though we aren't all becoming astronauts for NASA and veterinarians as my first grade yearbook falsely informed me, there is in fact a quote that I found while scavenging that helped me gather my thoughts. Sourced from the my favorite memory at Palmer is slash was section of my fifth grade yearbook, it reads, meeting all my new friends and teachers like Caleb Ida, Cesar Perez Marino, and Miss Cottrell. This was written by fellow graduate Lucas DeLong. May he rest. And upon reading this, I knew exactly what I wanted to speak about. Though all 400 or so of our journeys follow different paths, they brought us to this same moment where we all will carry forth as one. I can't really compare our journeys, but I can speak to my time in Baldwinsville. I believe this time can be summarized into three words, change, adaptation, and growth. Change. When I think of change in Baldwinsville, it's hard not to reflect upon my behavior upon arrival at Mrs. Cottrell's fifth grade classroom. When I started fifth grade, I had two severe problems, anger issues and a hatred of school fueled by this anger. Despite my cheerful demeanor, this made some individuals around me label me as careless and hot-headed. I didn't see the worth of doing homework if I wasn't gonna be learning. And I honestly didn't even care for going to school. So naturally, I faked being sick and stayed home watching Pokemon black and white reruns every morning. Instead of seeing what everyone else saw, however, Mrs. Cottrell pulled me aside before class one day. She said many things, of course, but namely, she told me that she knew I was a smart boy and that I had the potential to do amazing things. Though I felt undeserving, all it took for me was those few words from someone outside of my family, someone who cared, someone who had faith in me, for me to realize that if I put in the effort, maybe I could fulfill some sort of potential. And though my better memories of this grade are tainted by memories such as my stuttered spelling of apricot in the fifth grade spelling bee, I swear it has two Ps, and anyone who says otherwise, you, you're just wrong, you're just wrong. Anyways, more importantly, 
I will never forget the support I received from Mrs. Cottrell Benton and how others throughout my time here have helped me realize the potential I have. This includes teachers, administrators, and members of this class. Now, I can stand before you at this moment as a member of the Baker's Dozen, your class president, and even a graduating senior who will be attending Yale University in the com coming fall. You all truly have been a part of my change. Adaptation. On the basis of adaptation, it would be absurd if I didn't mention the looming threat of COVID we all faced every year of high school. I could say that it was unprecedented time for all of us and a whole lot of other junk we've heard millions of times now, but this is about adaptation. Instead of isolating ourselves, our community raised and awarded over $100,000 in scholarships. Instead of letting ourselves grow apart, we've had science, language, and performing arts make demonstrations connecting us with the elementary schools. Instead of forgetting what unites us, we created and brought back festivals like Tech Fest, Film Fest, and the Culture Fest. We cre even bringing back prom and ball for our class against all the odds. And instead of backing down, we have all of you here today ready to cross that stage. If that doesn't prove the strength our class has, then nothing will. So please, give yourselves a round of applause. I'm trying to avoid eating my tassel. It's a little, it's a little challenging. All right, growth. I chose to end with this idea because it is something we all deal with. The population of the world is growing. These trees around us here today are all growing and you all have experienced some sort of growth in Baldwinsville. Whether it be physical, mental, or emotional, we all have undeniably grown. But my yearbook showed me that this growth is what led to me giving this speech here before you all today. My first day of Palmer consisted of me showing up fashionably late, as is in character for my family, as some of you have grown to know, and then uttering hola to greet my classmates. I mean, I've been unprepared for certain things before, but trust me when I say nothing will prepare you for a swarm of 35-year-olds asking you to say their name in Spanish. <laughs> but it was all worth it because it meant everyone willingly gave me the rice table at recess. And just so you know, only a elementary school elites got the Rezegi rice table at recess. Eventually, I grew accustomed to such questions and such conversations. And by first and second grade, I knew enough English to be able to invite these people to my birthday party. By third grade, I knew enough English for me to understand the calamity that was the state test, but also enough to hold and maintain a stable friend group, which was adequately named the group. And by fourth and fifth grade, though unwilling to use it, I had enough knowledge of the language to write an essay. Though it feels like not much has happened since then, I'm now able to write over a thousand words reminiscing on my Baldwinsville experiences and I'm capable of dictating, dictating them to you all right here today. Most of you might not share this understanding of growth, but I can personally attribute it to Baldwinsville and the support it provided me with. That's change, adaptation, and growth. But now it's our turn, once again, to keep growing as we always have. So thank you, Baldwinsville, for turning a student reluctant to do his homework into an Ivy League scholar. Thank you for turning a kid who couldn't even say hello in English into one who is capable of giving this speech to more than a thousand individuals. Thank you, class of 2022, for believing in this kid and allowing him to serve you as your class president all throughout high school. And finally, thank you to everyone here for making me the person I am today. Once again, congratulations to the Charles W. Baker High School Class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Caesar. Now I'd like to invite Kira Glicker to the podium class salutatorian to give her address to the class of 2022. Kira, come on up. Thank you. Congratulations to my fellow classmates. First off, I would like to thank some important people in my life. To my parents, my biggest fans, my biggest supporters, who never put too much pressure on me and who let me be the kid I was. To my sister, for being my closest friend and for never leaving me. To my brother for loving me despite my bad jokes and never saying no to going rollerblading with me. To my extended family, my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins for being the most caring and fun people in my life. Next, I would like to thank God for his unending love and kindness and for being the lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. To my youth group for giving me something to look forward to every week and for always inspiring me to become a better version of myself. And to my teachers, for their encouragement every single day. 
You guys are amazing. I'm sure everyone in the audience can think of at least one teacher who has made a large impact on them. Make sure to thank them. And to my classmates who helped with the seemingly endless assignments and tests, thank you to all. I would not be here without any of you. Secondly, I would like to look back to remember what we have gone through in these last years of high school, to all the fun, to our pep rally win against the juniors and sophomores, to our delayed prom in the gym, to all the spirit weeks, to our killer ball and KBR, and to all the not so fun, the tests, the quizzes, the essays, the homework, the presentations, the late nights, the studying, the crying, and the stress. All of the bad has helped each and every one of us in becoming the resilient, brave people we are today. We did it, guys, and it sure wasn't easy, but every hard day has only contributed to our perseverance and strength. Furthermore, I would like to look forward into the future. When I asked some of my peers what their dream goal was for their life, these are some of the responses I got. I don't know, that's a big question. Oh my gosh, that's like asking what the meaning of my life is. That's hard. I guess be happy with my job? To find happiness. To have a good, happy, healthy family in a clean, organized house and be the cool, fun grandmother. I don't really have one uh, to travel and have a loving family. I don't know, move away from my parents? To be happy and to make an impact big enough to give others a chance to be happy. That's hard, be happy with my job, I guess. I don't know, a housewife? To have a family. To have a successful job but still be able to spend time with my family. There were lots of I don't knows and uncertainties. No matter if those were answered seriously or not, I want to encourage each and every one of you to hold on to your dreams. Your future is exactly what you made out of it, so make it good. Don't be a couch potato. Life is precious. Marcia Wider once said, use your precious moments to live life fully, every single second of every single day. So get up off that couch and live your life. God bless you as you journey here from, from here, class of 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Kira. And now I would like to introduce McKenna Davis, class valedictorian, to give her address to the class of 2022. McKenna, come on up. Thank you, Mr. Denton. Good evening and welcome to our graduation ceremony. It's an honor to be speaking today and to share this moment with Board of Education members, administration, staff, families, and students. Questions? Yes, questions. Many people have approached me and asked, McKenna, what's your secret to getting good grades? What's your secret to success? And to those questions, I always answer with questions. Any of my teachers can attest to the fact that I'm always asking a lot of questions. I like to stay after just to get some extra time to bug them with more questions to make sure I fully understand homework, concepts, assignments, and more. The only way I would have been able to receive this help is by questioning, because people like to contribute to our successes. You just have to be able to ask. It is with our curiosity that leads us to a plethora of new knowledge and learning. Let's pause and think back to when we were in elementary school. We learned the six question words, who, what, when, where, why, and how. So I'm gonna bring it back full circle to ask and answer those again now. First off, who? Us, Charles W. Baker High School graduating class of 2022. Congrats guys, we did it. We made it through some crazy times together and through it all, we had each other. We have been in school together for 13 years and some of us have been together even longer. We have known each other our whole lifetime. We see each other now almost every day but in a mere two months, we're all going to be seeing new faces. It's crazy to think that life can change so drastically in such a short amount of time. Don't forget these faces. And now, we can't forget the other who that's with us today. Friends, family, the whole Baker community. These people have helped us get to where we are today. We should make sure to take time to thank them. We should take time to hug loved ones. We should take the opportunity to engage with the people around us. We should talk to new people. We should learn their stories and make them smile by saying hi when passing by. We should take in every moment we can get. Next, what? First, what are we? We are the Bevo Bees. I know I'll definitely miss hearing everyone say, go Bees. Second, what happened during our time here? Having the historical shared experience of COVID-19, 
has brought us together. Little did we know that those two weeks would turn into two whole years of our high school experience. Little did we know that we would come back from that break as the incredibly resilient beings we are today. How crazy is it that we only had one real year of high school, but the important thing is that we're here now. Third, when? Now, 2022, we reached the 22 that's been lingering on our school emails all this time. The time is now that we have to decide to live fully or simply exist. I say, live in the present with a drive for the future and a reverence for the past. Our class has been through a lot these three years. Acknowledge it and don't let this lesson pass us by. Let the past teach us the value of life each and every day. For all we know, another lesson could just be around the corner. Moreover, don't waste time. Seize the opportunities to do things that bring you joy and purpose. As part of my purpose, in light of recent events, it would be remiss of me not to include how as a woman, yesterday I was hopeful, today I am heavy. Although hearts may be heavy today, I encourage all to take this opportunity to, to find purpose and engage in change to create the world we deserve. Fourth, where? Baldinsville. Growing up in this community has given us a multitude of opportunities to grow and learn. We are very lucky to be educated in such a supportive environment. Even though our wares are about to change as we move on to college and careers, we will always have this place as our home, this place to come back to. As we're stepping foot off this turf, official graduates of Baker High School, many of us may never step into that building again. Even though this ceremony indicates the end of our time at Baker, we will forever be connected to this community and our time spent here. A location change is not the end. It is just a continuation and shift in our journey. Fifth, why? Why keep going? There's always a bright side to look forward to. We learn this firsthand that perseverance can get us through hard times. And even if it feels like there's no end in sight, things will get better. Don't let the good times slip away. Appreciate these big moments, along with any small ones that happen along the way. Additionally, why are we here? We are here to celebrate the great successes we have achieved as a class and to acknowledge the hard work we have put into our school careers. And lastly, how? How do we continue to succeed? By asking questions, by leaning on each other, by striving for greatness, and by putting in the work for the results we deserve. We are all capable of achieving great things. We are all capable of asking the questions that will help us succeed in the game of life. Thanks to all for making our experience here a great one. Thank you, McKenna. And now I would like to welcome our Deputy Superintendent, Joseph DeBarbery, to the podium to present the High Honor Awards. Congratulations, class of 2022. I would like to ask the following students to please join me on the stage. McKenna Davis, Caitlin Sacco, Lauren Boyce, Ashley Bowen, and Grace Branshaw. The honor awards for academic excellence are presented to the senior with the highest overall cumulative average in each of the core content areas. For English, McKenna Davis. For Mathematics, McKenna Davis. For Science, Ma uh, McKenna Davis. For Social Studies, Caitlin Sacco. For our foreign languages, German, Ashley Bowman. For Spanish, Grace Branshaw. And for French, Lauren Boyce. Congratulations. Again, congratulations. At this time, I would ask the following students to please come up to the stage as well. Sarah O'Dell, Jacob Chiz, Maeve Bartell, Olivia DeFazio, and Taylor Tripodi.
The honor awards for excellence are presented to seniors that deserve recognition for outstanding achievements in technology, music, family and consumer sciences, business, as well as art. For art, Sarah O'Dell. For business, Jacob Chiz. For technology, Maeve Bartel. For music, Olivia DeFazio. And for family and consumer sciences, Taylor Chipote. On behalf of our district's instructional staff members, congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Mr. DeBarbery. It is now my honor to welcome Mr. Jason Thompson, Superintendent of the Baldensville Central School District, to the podium to address the class of 2022. Thank you, sir. Today is the best day because it's your day. Good evening. It's my honor to welcome the graduating class of 2022 members of our Board of Education, Principal Denton, families, and staff members. I'm so incredibly proud to be standing here today as your superintendent. Over the course of this school year, I have had the privilege to get to know this community and have discovered a few things about what it means to be a part of this hive. In this community, we stand together. We support one another. We care for our neighbors. So on a day like today, a day of celebration. We all truly come together as one big family. A sincere thank you for welcoming me into that family. We're gonna go on a trip together. I want you to close your eyes for a moment and picture, picture yourself riding in a car. Maybe it's your car. Maybe it's a dream car, your parents' car, or maybe it's your grandfather's 67 Stingray Corvette car you're never allowed to drive. You're driving down an open road. It's a beautiful day. It's not a perfect day, but it's a beautiful day. There are some dark clouds in the sky, some potholes in the road, some traffic along the way, but there's an open road ahead of you, and it's beautiful. Then all of a sudden, the road ahead is closed by a roadblock. The detour is unfamiliar, it looks long, confusing, maybe even a little bit scary. You don't want to get lost. You don't want to be late for your destination. So you follow the detour anyway, and you start to get back on track. Then there's traffic. Then there's rain. Then there's commercials playing on the radio. But you keep moving. You keep going and driving forward despite the obstacles, despite the detours, despite the fear. Then the clouds, the sky clears, the sun comes out, your favorite song comes on the radio, and the road is open. Again, it's not perfect, but it's a beautiful open road. Now open your eyes. My road map became when I left high school with aspirations to become an athletic trainer for a major league baseball team. I dreamt big for a, a young man in a very small town in the foot of Catskills in upstate New York. That dream did come true. I became an athletic trainer for the Red Sox. Then my roadblock was in front of me. My grandfather passed away. My dad was battling cancer. And then I decided not to return to the Red Sox. Instead, I stayed home behind to care for my dad. As you can imagine, that was a lot to handle and a lot of change for a 24-year-old. Soon after, my dad passed away. My pathway had completely changed. I went back to college to finish my master's degree in education, and little did I know that that perceived roadblock at that time would change my life and shape who I am in my career today. Today, you all are right where you need to be and right where you belong. You've reached your final destination at the Baldwinville Central School District despite your detours and obstacles. COVID was a, certainly a major roadblock during your sophomore year, 
classes went virtual near the end of one of the most challenging years in your high school career, but you kept moving forward. There were challenges and obstacles in your junior and senior years, but there were also signs to guide you back to the open road. Those signs were often held by your teachers, your counselors, principals, family members, and friends. You are here because of your perseverance, your drive, and your never quit mindset. As you look down the road, I encourage you to keep moving forward. Don't become discouraged when roadblocks and obstacles come in your path. As you leave C.W. Baker High School to enter the military, the workforce, or head off to college, you may think you know what your road you're going to follow. You can see your path, but when I was your age, I never, never imagined standing in front of, front of you today as your superintendent. Never fear the de detours that await you. They're a part of life, but remember there is no obstacle that is too big or too scary because you're not alone. Everyone gathered here today is extremely proud of you and wants to see you to continue to grow, continue to achieve, and continue to succeed. Graduates, look around you again at the community, the family. We are here for you always because you are a part of this hive. It is truly an honor and a privilege to serve as your superintendent. Travel safe on the road of life. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. At this time, please welcome Mrs. Jennifer Petruno, president of the school board, to the podium to address the class. On behalf of the Board of Education, I'd like to congratulate the members of the class of 2022. As we look out at you today, we see a beautiful picture of accomplishment, and we're proud of all of you. You've made it here today because of your hard work, perseverance when faced with challenges, and the support of numerous people in your lives. However, if we take a minute and look closer at this picture, we realize it's a puzzle with many special, unique pieces. Each one of you have had different life experiences, different talents, and different goals that have shaped you. As you have been figuring out what direction to turn or where and how you believe you may fit into this picture, you've been blessed to have amazing teachers, staff, classmates, friends, and family to help support and guide you. Smile, sit tall, and be proud because you have accomplished a lot and contributed to this picture today. Our hope is that the education you received at the Baldwinsville Central School District has prepared you for many larger puzzles you'll be part of, or the next chapter, as many typically say at graduation. Remember those Choose Your Own Adventure books you used to read? The book starts the same for everyone, but you get to a page in the book where you eventually have to make a choice as to what the next part of your adventure will be. You all started school, made different choices along the way, and ended up on the same page again, this moment. The exciting thing is life is about choices, and going forward, these choices are yours. They will help determine who you are, how hard you will work, and where you will go. Remember, at the end of each day, if you look in the mirror and the person you see looking back at you can honestly say they did their best, then you should be proud. Hold the bottom of the pride close to your heart and remember where it all began, with the people surrounding you today. Enjoy today and be ready for tomorrow. There are no limits if you continue to believe in yourself. To the class of 2022, the Board of Education wishes you luck, good health, success, and much happiness. You've got this. Thank you, Mrs. Petruno. This time, I would ask that you please stand and join the Baker High School Chamber Choir in singing the alma mater. The alma mater is printed inside the back page of your program.
Thank you. You may please be seated. Mr. Keating, and thank you to the Baker High School Chamber Choir. Before I present and celebrate this class of 2022, give them a moment to get to their seats. How about one more round of applause for that? They were fantastic. So before I present and celebrate this class of 2022, I would like to take a moment 
to honor and celebrate the lives of two members of the class of 2022 that are not with us today. Their families and our entire Baldwinsville community lost these young men much too soon. Lucas DeLong and Dylan Overby, you're both missed beyond measure. But we will celebrate your life as you will live on in your families who love you and in those who had the honor of knowing you. We know you are with us here today and you will always be members of the CW Baker High class of 2022. And now I am here to tell you all, as your proud principal, that the CW Baker High School community is incredibly proud of each and every one of you. We all in this community have so much to be grateful for in this class of students. Seniors, do you remember your sophomore year? That year when March rolled around? You got sent home early for April break. And then April break didn't end until September the next school year. I remember that too. I remember going down to the large gym with Mrs. Turpening and Mr. Allen after wandering a bit aimlessly around the empty building, a bit in shock. Mr. Allen beat us both in pig and horse in the gym that day. And it really was probably one of the strangest experiences of our lives. The empty halls, the Chromebook and scholarship deliveries, the Google Meets and the Zooms, the endless waiting for us to get back together, for things to feel normal again. The empty halls and the classrooms really were the worst. Baker High School, this campus, this stadium, their entire purpose, our entire purpose is you. And you needed to be here. So you came back, we all came back. You left as sophomores and came back as juniors ready to get back at it, eager to move forward and have the full high school experience. Granted, with only half of your classmates. And that was a strange experience too, right? But here we are, buzz and hive cohorts back all together. Put your hands together for that. Some of you came to school and learned remotely from teachers who were still at home, but you made it work. You survived and even thrived. And I certainly don't mean to make light of the pandemic. The challenges to our community and to this class of 2022 brought by COVID-19 have been many, but nothing has stopped any of you. At every turn, this community rallied behind you. Your families rallied behind you and you've continued to learn together. You've continued to perform and make music, You've continued to make award-winning art and film and write about your experiences. You've continued scientific experiments. You've continued to ask questions and seek answers. You've continued to push for equality and you've continued to fight for justice. You've continued to laugh and sing and dance and you've continued to compete and win sectional titles, regional titles and even state championships. Yes, you have continued to support your neighbors and you have given more of yourselves than you believed possible. You've continued. And I'm here to tell you all that this class of 2022 has had a fire lit within them and it is a fire and a spirit that will continue to burn brightly long after tonight, guiding successful and happy futures. You can all be proud of what you've learned and accomplished here at CW Baker High School. Your families, the staff in this district, and this entire community are proud of you. And now, it really is time. So are you all ready? I'm gonna say it again one more time. I can't hear you. Are you ready? That's more like it. That is more like it. At this time, with the class of 2022, please rise. Superintendent Thompson, Deputy Superintendent DeBarbery, 
President Petruno and members of the Board of Education. On behalf of the administration, faculty and staff of C.W. Baker High School and pursuant to regulations of the New York State Commissioner of Education, I certify that these members of the class of 2022 have met all of the requirements for graduation as established by New York State Board of Regents and the Baldwinsville Central School District. Families and guests, please join me in loudly congratulating this class of 2022. Seniors, please remain standing and join class president Cesar Perez Marino, salutatorian Kira Glickert, and valedictorian McKenna Davis as they lead you in the conferring of your commencement through the turning of your tassels. Tassels move from left to right. Just to clarify, it is from right to left. Right to left. <laughs> Congratulations. We will now begin the presentation of diplomas. Ask administrative staff to take their positions. All graduates may be seated at this time, with the exception of the first and second row. start with McKenna Davis. <laughs> Kira Glickert. <laughs> and Cesar Perez Marino. Christina Addison. Amari Aikens. Amir Aikens. Jada Albero. Brayden Alvarez. <laughs> Timothy Andrews. <laughs> Landon Arcady. <laughs> Tate Archer. Jesse Armbruster. Nathan Armstrong. Madeline Arnold. Annalisa Arustagi. Emily Atkinson Snow. Gwenna Aubin. Milo Austin. Jose Aviles. Zacharia Aziza Dean. Ava Fagan. Yeah. 
Flute Baker. Mackenzie Banks. Justin Barkley. Maria Barella. Maeve Bartell. Jillian Battersby. Emmett Bauer. Rachel Bear. Alexandra Bidnarchek. Aaron Bell. Nico Bellavia. Audrey Benton. Kalina Berardi. Anna Bilharova. Eden Bishop. Tyler Bloom. Alexa Bolton. Parisini Bonnell. Lacey Bonnell. Ashley Bowman. Lauren Boyce. Matthew Bozit. Graham Bradford. Grace Branshaw. Caitlin Brecht. Cameron Brennan. Lydia Brennan. Ethan Brogan. Emma Brookins. Madison Brooks. Everett Buckner. Evan Burmeister. Gabrielle Butchko. Logan Butler. Kinzyra Bird. Liam Byrne. Aiden Kelly. Kyla Calkins. Anthony Campbell. Julia Candy. Deanna Capstraw. Matthew Carner. Jessica Caron. Isabella Cartier.
Noah Case. Tara Casson. Haley Castro. Connor Katanzarit. Ryan Katunto. Alexandra Cavino. Perry Chetney. Ella Cimento. Emma Siapa. Mason Clark. Yeah. Alyssa Coffey. Morgan Coffey. Ryan Coleman. Joshua Cook. Daniel Cosme. Kaden Cox. Paul Creighton. Carson Cronin. Thomas Crozier. Karina Cruz Dwyer. Cyan Cullen. Zachary Come. Talia Cusimano. Adam Kyler. <laughs> Jacob Chiz. Mackenzie Chiz. James Diagostino. Cole Dack. Jacob Daly. Let's go! Caitlin Davis. Liam Davis. Malik Davis. Zachary Davis. Owen Davison. Maria DiCaro. Olivia DeFazio. Tyler Delaney. Brianna DeMello. Bianca DeSellums. Yeah. 
Robert D. Simone. Mary Louisa Diamond. Molly Deliberto. Dominic Dingle. Quate Dorsey. Cameron Doherty. Colin Doyle. Griffin Duger. Tyvere Durham. Rye Epsitz. Kayla Bida. Carter Irwin. Hannah R. Isak. Ava Estes. Kaylee Evans. Daniel Ewald. Molly Fabian. Jeffrey Falardo. Michael Falcone. Aiden Farmer. Lily Farrell. Reagan Farrell. Lauren Fava. Matthew Fawaz. Karen Fellows. Mary Ferris. Julia Fischera. Tess Finnegan. Sophia Fiorentino. Bryn Fisher. Liam Fitzgerald. Jesse Flynn. Alexis Ford. Emily Foreman. Melise Fox. Elijah Frechette. Evan Fredenberg. Max Funicello.
Hunter Garrett. Drew Gates. Carlo Gennario. Anthony George. Harrison German. Andrea Garrick. Ethan Gary. Kai Gerard. Morgan Gazowski. Molly Glowacki. Alexandra Gomez. Joel Goss. Haley Gower. Madison Graff. Jacob Grassman. Sophia Green. Gray. Brennan Groupie. Lauren Gulich. Diana Javinskaya. Sydney Hall. Mason Hallenbeck. Corbin Haney. Emmeline Hanauer. Julia Hare. Thomas Hastings. Ethan Hast. Allison Hay. Elijah Haynes. Dakota Hennessy. Hunter Hennessy. Rosiah Hester. Ethan Hetler. Ryan Hines. Madeline Holzenski. Brendan Hoff. Emma Hollenbeck. Grace Hollenbeck. Ryan Hollenbeck. Cassidy Holtz.
Emily Hotchkiss. Richard Howard. Ross Hudson. Nicholas Hutala. Sydney Hutala. Sarah Hunter. Isabella Ionitti. Andrea Ilasaka. Kaylee Indelicato Dyer. Mason Isbell. Ryan Isham. Maggie Izzo. Alexander Jacobson. Meredith Jamola. Anna Johnson. Leo Johnson. Brandon Jones. Marshall Jones. Aiden Kalen. Jaden Kantek. Madison Kefis. Michael Kelleperowski. Brianna Kennedy. Zoe Kirkese. Andrew Klein. <laughs> Ashley Combs. <laughs> Elijah Calazar. <laughs> Nadia Cosman. <laughs> Emily Kir Kirkilla. Alexander Lakomsky. Christopher LaRue. Michael Lavalette. Egan Lehman. Sarah LeMay. Mia Leo. Haley Leopard. Haley Leopard.
Eli Lewis. Natalia Lewis. <laughs> Nicholas Leterdello. <laughs> Cole Linehan. <laughs> Alexia Lobdell. Timothy Lockow, Tanner Lotito, Mackenzie Lockery, Jack Lukacic Wilmot, Justin Lum. Aiden Mackey. <laughs> Tucker Macknick. <laughs> Madison McClory. <laughs> Sarah, Mia Malouf. Gabriella Manchester. <laughs> Anthony Mancini. <laughs> Antonio Marcello. Sorry. I think I got a little out of order here. You're fine. Kayla McClory. Dawson Martin. Gianna May. Austin McClintick. Sophie McCormick. Caleb McEwen. Brian McGuire. James McKinney. <laughs> Stephen Meeker. Samuel Mellinger. <laughs> Gloria Matello. Harrison Myers. Hadley Michaels. Juliana Mitchell. Jamie Moore. Marissa Moreno. Derek Morich. Liliana Mostrianska. Bryson Murdoch. <laughs> Alyssa Murphy. <laughs> Carly Musamichi. <laughs> Chelsea Myers.
Daniel, Natalyn. Yeah. Isabella, Nadzin. Yeah. Maxwell, Naples. Yeah. McKaylin, Neville. Yeah. Ashley, Nellenbeck. Anna Newcomb. Sawyer Nazar. Thomas Nochevsky. Tyler Norman. Sarah Odell. Aiden O'Donnell. Nora O'Grady. Grady Ordway. Trey Ordway. Gianna Orlando. Jackson Orlando. Prapti Patel. Rushi Patel. Blake Patterson. Ryan Peltier. Nassim Perez. Gretchen Perrine. <laughs> Christian Petronani. <laughs> Lydia Pavarnik. <laughs> Ashley Phelps. Mason Phelps. Alexa Pichano. Megan Pichano. Felicity Pickard. Victoria Piedmont. Kelly Pierce. <laughs> Olivia Pisons. <laughs> Joseph Pilon. <laughs> Dylan Piron. <laughs> Faith Piscatelli. Ava Pompo. <laughs> Amelia Ponto. <laughs> Noah Porter. <laughs> James Prawl. <laughs> Logan Price. Riley Priest. <laughs> Sophia Proya.
Caleb Pyle. Jada Pyle. Roman Kiros. Jack Raymond. Liam Ramsey. Liam Rousa. Nicole Rauda. Jared Ricker. Tyler Rollins. Nathan Raymond. Jerome Rivette. Julia Reinwald. Amelia Rhodes. Katarina Rice. Brendan Riley. Jacob Wren. Emily Ritter. Darius Roberts. Paige Rockwood. Wesley Rogers. Elizabeth Roser. Caitlin Sacco. Paul Sacco. Vincent Samurai. Colin Savage. Lydia Scherfling. Ray Shrink. Cole Schuyler. Brooklyn Scott. Nathaniel Scott Keyless. Zachary Shaw. Elizabeth Shepherd. Cameron Schoen. Kaylee Simmons. Benjamin Slavic. Emily Smith. Emma Smith. Willow Smith. Emerson Snyder. Haley Snyder. Sebastian Spann. Yeah. Hannah Spath. Yeah. Holly Squadrito. Yeah. Megan Stack Couture. Yeah. 
Aiden Stan. Colin Stanley. Michael Starcheski. Allison Starr. Trevor Stoyer. <laughs> Leah Studley. Andrew Suttmeyer. <laughs> Timothy Sweetak. <laughs> Maya Tazy. <laughs> Samantha Tangway. <laughs> Christopher Tapia. Simon Tay. Big Anna Taylor. Yeah. Ashton Taylor. Yeah. Nyessa Taylor. Hunter Temple. Brianna Thomas. Joslyn Thomas. Julia Thomas. Hannah Thompson. Robert Thompson. Evan Trasher. Ava Trendowski. Taylor Tripodi. Ella Trombley. Bryce Trombley. Olivia Travato. Kelsey Tylinda. Lilith Urig. Andre Unku. Autumn Valentine. Lucas Valeski. Elizabeth Vinette. David Vivas. Ethan Viviano. Troy Volko. Aaron Voiton. Brandon Vono. Jenna Wachlowski. Eric Waldron. Jacqueline Wall. Elena Walzer. Joshua Walls. Yeah. 
Corbin Ward. Richard Warner. Emma Warren. Jordan Wazaluk. Carson Way. Owen Weaver. Aiden Webb. Dean Welch. Zachary Welsh. Gracie Wheeler. Catherine Wilburn. Elizabeth Wiley. Tayshana Williams Hunter. Jacob Williamson. Nora Wilson. Nathaniel Woods. Kiesens Wright. Liana Yost. Lee Zakia. James Zepp. On behalf of the Board of Education, Mr. Thompson and Mr. DeBarbery, administration, faculty, and staff, I would like to sincerely congratulate every single graduate from the class of 2022. You have truly earned this moment, this memory, and this milestone. Congratulations. Let's make some noise for that class of 2022, everybody. Now the Baker Hyde Chamber Choir will sing the Iris Blessing under the direction of choral teacher Mr. Colin Keating.
Many thanks to the chamber choir, Mr. Colin Keating. I'd also like to thank Mr. Casey Vanderstow for his direction of our combined band for this evening's ceremony. Additionally, a huge thank you to 11th grade assistant principal, Mrs. Turpening, for reading all of our graduates' names this evening. And for helping to plan this ceremony. And a 12th grade assistant principal, Mr. Bill Allen, for his tireless, for his tireless support of our team in this class of 2022. And a huge thank you to Assistant Principal Mrs. Maggie McRobbie Taru for all of her efforts on behalf of the class of 2022. We also have to thank the Baker High main office staff, especially Annette Kearney and Jill Durger, our Baker High School resource officer, Jenna Quattrini, our custodial team, Dave Wentworth, Liz Benoit, and Jeremy Benoit, and the facilities team here in Baldwinsville, led by Mr. Rick Fodor and Mr. Albert, and everyone that worked tirelessly behind the scenes here tonight to make this evening possible. I'd also like to thank senior class advisors, Mrs. Meany and Mrs. Dolan. We can give them a round of applause. For their hard work and dedication to this class of 2022. And many thanks to the many community organizations and businesses that support our kids throughout the year. We really need to give them a, a huge thank you and a huge round of applause. And especially the Baldwinsville Kiwanis Club, who year after year continues to give and support this district and support the students of Baldwinsville. So thank you to the Kiwanis Club. And I want to thank you all for making this a very special event and just a great year. And so with that, with the class of 2022, please rise one more time. And I want the Peltra Arcaro Stadium audience right now to make the loudest, loudest noise you can for this group of students, the class of 2022. Your class president, Cesar Perez Marino, and salutatorian, Kira Glicker, and valedictorian, McKenna Davis, will now complete the ceremony by leading you in one final act as students of CW Baker High School. Are you guys ready? Okay. On my count, one, two, three. Congratulations!